people in Florida have been asking a lot of questions about alternative plants for turf areas or using plants as companions to their existing turf. I wanted to show you one that's in my landscape that's very common now, the native powder puff mimosa. A few years ago, I established this in an area of my centipede grass and it's going to look very different. That's the first thing that people have to be willing to accept. The other thing with powder puff mimosa, it does spread really, really well. So in a small size lawn like I have, I am gonna have to be very careful in my plant beds when it creeps up to that area to start cutting and edging that unless I want it to take over all those plant bed areas. The advantage with this, it does offer these beautiful pink flowers. So in addition to centipede flowering and offering something for pollinators, this powder puff mimosa will offer something to butterflies and bees. Uh, what I like about it, it's very low maintenance. It's actually gonna fix nitrogen over time. And so it's not a plant that's gonna need fertilizer. Centipede grass is very low inputs anyway, doesn't like a lot of fertilizer. So this is a really good mix. In this area, I haven't mowed it in about two weeks, so it's growing up a little bit higher, but you can mow it and it still is going to be a good companion. So just be aware though, in the winter in North Florida, this will completely disappear. If that kind of fits the area where you think you want to grow it, it would be a good companion for your turf. For more information, contact us at the University of Florida, Escambia County Extension.